Moving on to item 7D, um, to discuss and possibly ratify the ASCME contract agreement for 2010-11 and the 2011-2012. Madam Vice Chair Kayla Presley, can I say something? Yes, you may. You, you are doing a wonderful job, but you're going pretty quick. Um, I did want to mention um, when you uh, talked about graduation, I wanted to thank the oh. board members for allowing me to give out the diplomas for um, the graduation this past year. I, I just really enjoy it. And it's, it's a wonderful it's, uh, experience. Isn't it? Yes, it is. And it was my second opportunity along um, with um, Ms. Luca, so um, it was nice. And what a wonderful class. And I can only hope the best for every single one of them. It was a very large class. Yes. So I, I think probably one of the largest classes we've had. Is that correct? It was this year. 240 of the class of number of students. I, too, would like to say thank you for the opportunity. It was my first opportunity. And I'm sorry I was a newbie. It, it was exciting. Those are wonderful young, young adults. Sometimes you need earplugs because some get big, big, <laughs> let out a big whoop when they, <laughs> they get there. So, uh, yeah, it, it is one of the things. So hopefully you'll be able to get that opportunity and work in the future too because it makes all these meetings worthwhile when you are able to you know, see those kids walk across the stage. So, so thank you. I'm sorry I'm moving things along quickly. I no, you guys. So, no, <laughs> no, 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 Congratulations to all the graduates of 2010. Yes. Okay, back to the contract, Mr. Word. Uh, in front of you, you have the highlights of the negotiations between our local 180 Tome Area School District non teaching employees affiliated with uh, Council Number 40, uh, and then the Tome Area School District. We uh, spent, I believe, five nights bargaining with uh, ASCME. Uh, and when it's all said and done, you see here the basically a summary of our tentative agreements that we have with the ASCME uh, local unit here. And I would just go over the highlights with you very quickly, and then uh, Joan or Jerry, if you would have anything that you would like to add as we're going over there, uh, that you may see as highlights. But the, uh, the first one I see is on the third page, and when we take a look at holidays, uh, we did some language change there to make that a little bit easier to read, but uh, one aspect here that has changed with the addition of 4K kindergarten is school that goes Monday through Thursday, and there were some employees that were, uh, when we put this original language in a, a few years back, um, everybody was getting these holidays before that, but then with the addition of these classes, or these, uh, uh, the 4K kindergarten classes, there was certain employees that work Monday through Thursday that were not getting the holidays that we really had agreed to. And there was no way through the uh, existing language to make that happen. So what we did is we rewrote the language to include those existing employees so they could get the, the holiday pay that they were entitled to, but the existing language was not allowing them to get to. Uh, another highlight, which would be on the next page, on page four, and this is in line with a little bit with our professional staff. Uh, there is no cost to this proposal. 
uh, currently uh, support staff receive two personal days a year. Uh, we have agreed that uh, between the two parties that we would let them carry over two of those days into the following year so that they can then piggyback those two days to four days that they would like. And I would add that, that two days of personally was a contract change from the previous contract where it was really directed uh, uh, toward emergency circumstances. And what we have found in that period of time when we moved this over is that uh, really the, the, the days were a wash that people were using for emergency uh, circumstances to two personal days, so we were able to limit the amount of emergency personally that they were able to do to get that down to two. And now we're just asking that they are able to carry that over into the following year. And then if they if not ever go above four, if they go above four, then they would lose that. So, um, and then finally, or a couple other uh, highlights on the money side of it. Uh, each year our drivers are called in and we have safety meetings and at that, uh, at the, in the last contracts, actually over the last couple contracts, they're getting paid $17.50 for that two hour meeting. Uh, and we move that to the activity pay rate to $13.31. Um, we believe that is a, a, is a fair request on their part. And then also uh, item S on the last page. Uh, currently we were paying our bus drivers $35 to clean their buses. It, it, it can take up anywhere from depending on if it's a micro bus or a regular bus, up to four to eight hours. And we wanted to uh, make sure that our, our pay was in line with, uh, obviously through their request, we found that the, the pay needed to be in line with the job that we were asking them. And then finally, uh, when we look at the total wage schedule, uh, we have tentatively agreed on a wage schedule of a 1.5%, basically the first six months in the first year. And then that would move to a 2% in the second six months which would average to a 1.75 increase with that leaning towards, at the end of the year, leaning towards a little bit more favorably towards the, the uh, support staff then for um, the employer there, but we feel comfortable with that. And then it would be a 2% wage increase in the second year. And just to give you a little bit of perspective, in the last three years, uh, we were at about a 2.35% uh, total increase on salary for those years. So we, we feel that uh, between uh, would ask me, was asking and what we felt that we could afford to pay that we're, we're right in the ballpark. And I think at this time, both parties feel pretty comfortable with where we're at. Obviously on the employer side, we always like to go lower. And obviously on the uh, employee side, they would like to go higher. But I think this is a fair and equitable agreement. I don't know if Jerry or Joan would add anything. I think we feel we're right in the ballpark of what we were looking for. to approve the contract as presented. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Should we do a roll call vote? You can, you can if you like. You can do that any time you want. Do you need a roll call? Let's do a roll call vote. Uh, Bupka? Yes. Yes. Green Deer Lee? Yes. Justiner? Yes. 